Opening the checkpoints and mutual release of detainees, these are the main goals of Ukraine and the meeting in Berlin of advisors to the leaders of countries participating in the Normandy format. According to Andrei Yermak, head of the president's office, the Ukrainian side will also propose measures to control the silence regime in Donbass. The head of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe's Big Rao, expressed his concerns on the security situation in Ukraine while the meeting with Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuleba, who accused Russia of escalating tensions in the region. The only country which is escalating on the land and in the sea is Russia. Moscow keeps saying that less than 3% of Ukrainian territory has been fighting against the other part of the country over the last eight years. And they don't run out of ammunition, out of troops, out of tanks. It's absurd and manipulation of the OSCE, fundamental laws and misrepresentation of reality. I'm absolutely sure that the political will of the involved parties is necessary to end this process. Everything that is required from the OSCE, the OSCE will do from its side. The main task of Ukraine at the meeting of advisors to the leaders of the Normandy 4 is to unblock the work of the Trilater contact group. This was announced by the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dmytro Kuleba. According to him, this requires the political will of Russia. In turn, the expert of the Council for Foreign Policy Ukrainian Prism Alexander Kryo said that such negotiation platforms should be used to show the failure of the other side to work adequately and constructively. After all, the world community has repeatedly stressed that Ukraine fulfills its obligations unlike Russia. The only reason for Ukraine to continue the Normandy talks is to really try to divert them to the side of implementation that we see approaching zero, unfortunately. And the second is to show Russia's inability to go for adequate and constructive cooperation, which is obvious to us in principle. And at first this new security crisis of the early 22nd year becomes obvious to the West. Meanwhile, the work of the diplomatic landing countries. Today in Kyiv, the head of the OSC, Polish Foreign Minister Zbigny Rao, he spoke on ways to de-escalate tensions near the borders of Ukraine and also diplomatic ways to return peace to Donbass. The visit to Kiev of Zbigny Rao is first foreign trip as the current head of the OSC. I was saddened to learn about the first civilian casualty of the year, reported by the SMMM in the Security Working Group. In the Humanitarian Working Group, the participants discussed the opening of two new crossing points in Zolota and Shasta of Lugansk region. Economic Working Group discussed matters related to water supply as well as ecological issues, including environmental hazards linked to flooding of mines. From the press statement of the special representative of the OSCE in Ukraine and in the Trilater contract group, Miko Kanunen. OSCE will create all the conditions for the exchange of prisoners, but the political will of the stakeholders is needed to complete this process. The head of the OSCE, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Poland, Zbigny Rao, stated, The visit of the OSCE chairman in office Zbigny Rao to Moscow is scheduled for February 15th. Roman Smoller for UATV.